Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this first Friday of the year, we come to the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in our devotion to Him, let us ask for continued healing and transformation so that our lives may become a testimony of your power to others. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we ask, Almighty God, that the nativity of the Savior of the world, made known by the guidance of a star, may be revealed ever more fully to our minds. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three who testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now, the testimony of God is this, that He has testified on behalf of His Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about His Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life, you who believe in the name of the Son of God. The word of the, of the Thanks Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Glorify o the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Sweetly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate pleaded with him and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I do will it, be made clean. 
and the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The report about him spread all the more, and great crowds assembled to listen to him and to be cured of their ailments. But he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in the story of the gospel passage this morning, Jesus did not just heal and transform the leper, but in fact, Jesus used the healing of the leper to become proof and testimony that God can truly heal and God can truly transform. Sa kwento po ng Ebanghelyo natin ngayong umaga na ito ay hindi lamang po pinagaling at binago ni Jesus ang buhay ng taong may sakit, kundi ginamit niya ang buhay ng may sakit para maging patotoo at inspirasyon sa iba bilang patunay na ang Diyos nga ay nagpapagaling, ang Diyos nga ay bumabago sa ating buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, today, Jesus tells us that He will not just heal and transform us, but He will use us to become a proof, a testimony, and an inspiration that God heals and transforms. Sana po ngayong araw, mga kapatid, ay ito po ang saligan natin, manalig tayo sa ginawa ni Jesus. Nagagawin niya ang ating buhay bilang patunay at patotoo sa iba, maging inspirasyon sa iba na ang Diyos nga ay nagpapagaling, humihilom, at bumabago ng buhay. This is what our first reading also tells us today, that if we believe in the Son of God, that if our life is connected to God, then our life will also become a testimony to others, a testimony of the power of God, a testimony of the love of God for us. Manalig po tayo ngayong araw, mga kapatid, na ang ating buhay ay hindi lamang po pinapagaling at binabago ni Jesus, kundi gagamitin ni Jesus ang ating buhay para maging inspirasyon sa iba, para maging patotoo sa iba na ang Diyos nga ay marunong magpagaling at marunong magbago ng ating mga buhay. Alam ko po mga kapatid na marami ko sa atin ngayon ay nagkakaroon ng karamdaman at sakit. Maaaring sa panahon ngayon ay may pinagdaraanan tayong malalim na problema. Kagaya ng ketongin sa kwento ng ating Ebanghelyo ngayon. He was sick with leprosy. He was cut off from the community. He was in deep problem in life. But let us believe that even if we are like that leper in the gospel, 
we may be sick, we may be isolated, we may be cut off from the community, we may be in a deep situation of problem. But like the leper in the gospel today, Jesus will use you one day. Jesus will let your life become an inspiration one day to others. Kung ikaw man ay nasa malalim na problema ngayon, kung ikaw man ay nakakaranas ng karamdaman ngayon, kung ang pamilya mo man ay natatakot sa panahon ngayon dahil sa sakit at karamdaman, kagaya ng may sakit sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, balang araw, kapag kayo ay pinagaling na ng Diyos, gagamitin din niya kayo para maging inspirasyon at patotoo sa ibang tao na ang Diyos nga ay marunong magpagaling. Ang Diyos nga ay humihilom at nagbabago ng buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, let us put our trust in God that He will one day use us to become proof and testimony of a life that is healed and transformed. Amen. Please stand. Like the leper in the gospel who cried out for healing, we now approach our Heavenly Father with confidence that our prayers will be answered. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may never fail in her duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That scientists and those involved in medical research may discover remedy for incurable diseases. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our community may reach out with love and care to the rejects and untouchables of our neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that families, relatives, and friends may attend to the needs of the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That those who have died in Christ may be received with love and mercy into God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, Help us to follow your example by reaching out to those we ignore. Increase our faith and accept our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, my.